Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today's video is one that I have been waiting forever to film and I've been so excited to share with you guys. Today we're going to talk about the secret I have been keeping for the last couple of months. So, I, as you saw by the title, am starting an Etsy business. Now, this business targets reptile moms and women in the reptile hobby and it is called Herpetology emphasis on the her. So basically herpetology is just a place you can go to get home decor and just other goodies that target reptile moms. So this idea actually started a couple years ago. It was right after I got Arcadius, my iguana, and you know I just go to the store and I would see all this decor and stuff for people that have dogs and have cats, but you never see anything for reptile moms. And I wanted stuff to decorate my house with. You guys have seen my living room. All of my decorations are reptile related. <laughs> so if I ever saw a sign that kind of inspired me and like made me think of a reptile sign, I'd take a picture on my phone. And so it was always my intention or something I always wanted to do was to start a business making signs for reptile moms. It was just something I never really got the confidence to do um, until recently. Um, so I have like two or three years worth of sign pictures from random stores and Pinterest on my phone. Um, just signs and sayings that kind of inspired me as far as how I could make them geared towards reptile moms. So I got that idea two or three years ago and then about a year ago I came up with the name Herpetology and I was actually really upset I didn't come up with this name for my Instagram or my YouTube channel and I just felt like by the time I came up with it I had invested too much into ZA Reptiles. People knew ZA Reptiles so I didn't want to just change it. So I decided whatever I decided to do for side income, that's what I would name it. Because you guys know, I work as a zoo educator at my local zoo and you don't make very much money working at a zoo. And I live here in my apartment with all 14 of my animals and I pay for everything on my own. I am a competitive figure skater, so I pay for my skating and so there's just a lot of budgeting. I don't have a lot of wiggle room with my budgeting. Um, so I, was, I knew as someone who worked in a zoo, I would eventually have to find a second job, but I'm not really the type of person that wants to work two jobs. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to be able to work from home or have my own kind of side to hobby, side business. Um, so that's kind of where that stemmed from. So anyway, I got the idea a couple years ago with signs, I just never pursued it, um, and then this summer, around the beginning of July, um, I kind of revisited the idea, but instead of signs, it was hammocks. So I thought I was going to sew a bunch of like bearded dragon hammocks and whatnot, and I actually started to. I was figuring out how I wanted to do it, what techniques I wanted to do, stuff like that, um, and then I started doing signs. I finally got the motivation and just committed to doing it and it was so much fun. So then I stopped doing the hammocks um, and then I wanted to do some other things but supplies cost money and starting up a business costs money. So it was one thing at a time. So I decided I would tackle all these signs. They're all hand painted and I would start off selling those, make some money. Um, invest a little bit more to be able to do more things um, and recently I've actually invested quite a lot considering I haven't actually announced my Etsy shop yet um, but this past week I revisited the hammocks so it's some hammocks and now I have been able to branch out and do so many more things so for the end of this video I want to show you guys kind of what you can expect from herpetology um, and kind of where it can go. So I want to show you some of the products you'll see in my Etsy shop 
um, right now or coming soon. A lot of stuff I haven't listed yet um, because I am in the process of listing everything that I have. Um, but it is kind of a startup. This is all stuff just to get it going, um, kind of refill my funds so that I can expand and do more. I want to offer more personalization options, color options for certain things. Um, but right now it's kind of a, I make it, I upload it, what you see is what you get type of deal because I just don't have the funds to be able to offer um, customization or personalization or anything like that yet. Um, so I do have lots of plans. I just need to refill the fund that I emptied into all the supplies that I have and have been working on for the past two months. For the past two months, I have been dumping, or three months, two or three months, I have just been dumping every extra change, every extra dollar that I have into supplies to do this. Um, so I am running dry right now, very broke, but I'm very excited to finally be able to announce my Etsy shop and get it up and going. And I can't wait to see where it goes. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you some of the products that you can find in my Etsy shop. Okay, so now I have a lot of hand-painted signs because that was what I focused on for the past couple of months. Um, so I'm gonna show you, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll show you six of the signs that you can find in my Etsy shop or will find in my Etsy shop. Um, and then we'll move on to some of the other things that I will have listed. So first things first, let's see, let's start with this one. So first off, I have these welcome signs. So it is a white painted wood sign. Um, and it says reptiles welcome, people, eh. So it is. it has um, twine attached to it so that you can hang it. Um, this is one that is a possible personalization option. Um, I do have two of these right now. I have this one that's green and the reptiles welcome part actually has green glitter on it as well give it a little sparkle. Um, the other one is kind of a metallic blue. And yeah, so if this was something you were interested in and you wanted maybe different colors, um, you can shoot me a message on Etsy and you know we can see what we can work out. Um, yeah, so that is one of the things you can find in my Etsy shop. This is actually the first sign I ever made for my Etsy shop. Like the first sign I did this summer at all was this one. All right, up next we have this little chalkboard sign again with twine so you can hang it. And so this is for all those coffee lovers. I personally don't like coffee, but I know a majority of people do in the world. Um, and I mean, snakes and coffee. If you like coffee, those are two great things. But yeah, so all the stuff was hand painted. So it does take some blood, sweat, and tears to do. Um, this was another one that was a kind of personalized option. So I do have a couple extras of these. So if you wanted to say lizards and coffee um, or something like that, I think those were the two options, snakes and coffee or lizards and coffee. Um, so you can let me know kind of what you want for that. Now this next one is actually, I think my favorite favorite one or second favorite up there and my favorites that I have done um, and it's this big one that says well it says diamonds are a girl's best friend but then I crossed it out and put reptiles um, this one doesn't have any hanging options I'm considering getting supplies in the future to offer the option of having hanging attached or just being able to put the hanging on um, but because I am just starting up, I don't have the option available yet. So this one doesn't have any hanging options to come with it. Um, but I would personally just stick this on a shelf, like leaning against a wall or something. I think it would be super cute. Um, but yeah, so that's also kind of a, it's a pretty big sign. <laughs> but yeah, so there's another sign. Okay, so now here is another one. I do have some fun colors, but again, um, this is chalk paint. Pretty much all my signs are painted with chalk paint. And chalk paint's kind of expensive, um, so I only have a couple of colors that I've used so far. I do want to get more colors, but again, money, so that's something you can look forward to in the future. Um, but here's another one, so it's kind of like a box sign. Again, this doesn't have a hanging option, um, but another one you could just kind of stick on a shelf. But yeah, so I, I love this design. It was so much fun to paint. 
But so there's another one. Yeah. Okay, so these last two I'm gonna show you are more of my top favorites. This one in particular is my favorite, hands down. Um, so that is my favorite sign I've done. And this one actually does have hanging on the back. Um, it came like that, so no worries there. This can be hung if that's something you're interested in. And then the last sign I'm gonna show you guys is the biggest sign that I have done. And I think it speaks true to all of us. See if I can back up and get it all in the video. Um, this is another one that doesn't have a hanging option. Um, however, it'd be super easy to install your own or put it on a shelf, like I said. I could see this over like a fireplace or something or on one of my nice like reptile shelves. Not gonna lie, I almost kept this for myself, but need the money. And the whole point of this is to be able to spoil my animals and fill up an emergency vet fund and be able to live a little more comfortably. Um, so not gonna hang on to anything. I'm gonna let it all go. But yeah, so that is the biggest sign I have done um, and will be in my Etsy shop soon. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing you can find in my Etsy shop are hammocks. So I have a couple here to show you. All of my hammocks are double-sided with two different fabrics. Um, they are reinforced with these little grommet things and they have fleece inside to make it kind of thick and nice and soft. So they are really, I personally really like them. Um, if you saw my last video, it was my Bearded Dragon upgrade video, and I did put two hammocks that I made in her enclosure um, to test them out, and they're holding up great. She loves them. She's actually laying on her big one right now, um, which is actually the same one as this. I can show you guys. So this is a pretty big one. Right now, I'm currently doing three different sizes. Um, off the top of my head, I don't quite remember what they are. I want to say 12 by 12, 14 by 14, and 16 by 16. Um, so I believe this is a 16 by 16. So it fits in the corner of a 40 gallon perfectly. This one I believe was a 12 by 12. Um, so it looks a little, little in the corner of 40 breeder, but it fits great in like a 20 gallon long. Um, however, I do have one in my 40 gallon breeder. <laughs> And then I always try to use my leftover fabric. I don't like it to go to waste. Um, so in this case, or in a lot of cases that I actually have, I'm left with like an awkward little rectangle that I can't really do a good corner hammock with because it would just be really tiny. So what I actually did was sewed it together and made a rectangle hammock. Um, so now this wouldn't fit in a 40 breeder. Uh, it would probably fit well in a 20 gallon maybe. Um, but when I list all this stuff, I will list dimensions so you can look at the dimensions and figure out if they will fit whatever it is you want to use them for. Um, so those are just kind of three examples. Um, and what you guys don't currently see is the pile of <laughs> 20 cut hammocks on my futon that need to be sewed. <laughs> so I spent my whole night doing the other night was just cutting fabric. Now I just have to cut all the fleece inserts, pin them, and sew them all. Um, yeah, but there will be a like mass inflow of hammocks coming to my Etsy shop soon. Um, and cute Halloween ones with this fabric with the pumpkins and the stripes on the back. I love this. And so I have quite a few cut in different sizes. So those will be in my Etsy shop soon. So like I said, herpetology is not just home decor, but it's like little goodies and gifts for reptile moms too. So another thing you can expect to come are water bottles and drinkware. So here I have this cup with a straw that says reptile mom on it. And it's got a lizard, some feeding tongs, a snake, and a cricket, which was really painful to put on because you guys know how much I hate crickets. But it's part of being a reptile mom. So there is an example of something you might find in the herpetology shop. And another thing would be mugs. So I have here a mug. It's, I love this saying. I think it is so cute. And it says you're one in a chameleon and I love it. So that is something else you will be able to find in the herpetology shop. So another thing that makes really good gifts are car decals which you will find in the shop as well. 
Um, I just put two on my car this morning. Um, so I have a couple here to show you. Actually, I have two here, two examples to show you that I quickly did up. Um, so this one is very similar to the one that I just put on my car this morning, except mine has an iguana on it. And um, I did use holographic vinyl for the one I put on my car, but it's not permanent, so I'm testing it out. I don't want to put it in my Etsy shop without knowing that it will hold up on a car. So I need to get permanent holographic vinyl to do stuff like that, but for now I have solid colors, yay! So that is one you'll find in the shop um, with possible customization in the future. And then another one is this saying, rescue is my favorite morph with a ball python. Um, and I actually, I do. I have a sign in my reptile shop with the saying as well, if you're interested in checking that out. A lot of the things that I have, um, or a lot of the designs I use, are on my painted signs, hand painted designs, um, but also on decals and whatnot. So if it's saying you really like, it might be on a couple different things that you can check out. So that holographic vinyl I told you about, it's not permanent, so it's not really good for mugs or water bottles or car decals. So I was trying to figure out what I could do with it. And then I realized I could use it for tank decals because you're not really messing with those very much. They're not gonna be getting wet. They're not gonna be out in the weather, you're not really touching them. So they would hold up great on tanks. No, I'm not gonna do like name tags or something because there's other people that do that and I don't wanna kind of like step into their thing. Like that's that's their thing. I don't wanna invade or intrude, intrude. I don't wanna intrude in what they do. Um, but I do have some little, some little decals for tanks. So for example, this one I made for my corn snake Phoenix and it says probably under the water dish. And this one, our Burmese Python actually made me think of it, our Burmese Python at the zoo. Um, and it says, careful, I'm a biter. And so you'll find little things like that in the shop that can be put on reptile enclosures. So the last thing I'm gonna show you for this video is something I'm super excited about and I actually love these. I made one for myself and I'm obsessed. And it is, tongue holders. So these are glass faces that are painted and the bottom is like a holographic paint and then it just says tongs on it. I personally always lose my tongs and I wanted a way to store them and now I have managed to keep track of my tongs for a month because I use them and I put them back where they belong because I love these so much and I just want to use it so I put my tongs away. So currently I have these in three colors. This is the or orchid, orchid I think is what it's called, orchid. Um, they are listed on my Etsy shop, so you can pick your color. Um, but this is the orchid, so it's like a pink and gold. And then I have the, I think it's blue violet. So it's like a purple and silver kind of. And my personal favorite is the blue, cause kind of like a mermaidy color. It's like blue and green and purple. Um, so I really like that. I think I got all those colors right. The purple one and the blue one always makes me, like I get mixed up, but they are labeled on my Etsy shop. So when you pick those, I'll know exactly what you're talking about. I do hope to have more colors in these available soon. But again, that costs money and you gotta start somewhere. So everything I have listed right now is to help me start up this business, to be able to get more supplies and to be able to offer more to you guys. I have tons of plans for more things to come that I'm actually working on right now. Um, but I really wanted to film this video while it was still light out. So I didn't quite have everything I wanted to show you in this video done, but there are so many things that I want to be able to put into this shop and so many things that I want to make and so many things that I want to do. So I'm super excited about this. I am so excited that I can finally tell you guys about it and kind of share it with you guys. Um, and yeah, so I will put my Etsy shop listing in the description below. As we speak, I'm currently uploading more items to my Etsy shop, trying to get everything I have in there. Um, it's quite a process to upload each listing. It takes a little while, so we're working on it. And if you're not following me on Instagram, 
definitely go follow me ZA Reptiles because I'm going to announce my shop there as well and I may or may not be hosting a giveaway for the opening of Herpetology. So if you want to get your own little goodie box sent to you or have the chance to win your own little goodie box, make sure you keep an eye out for that giveaway. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. I'm so excited about Herpetology. I can't wait to just like get going with it all. I mean, I've been getting going with it for like two or three months now, but now that I can actually like upload things to Etsy and tell you guys about it, I'm really excited to see where it will go. So many big plans for it. I'm just, I'm so excited. So I do also have an Instagram page for the Herpetology shop so you can check out what I'm working on and what new products are going up and what you might find in the Etsy shop. So if you want to follow me on Instagram or follow the Herpetology shop on Instagram, it is her underscore pathology. Her pathology. So that's where you can go to see new products, see what I'm currently working on, see what's coming to the store. Yeah, so definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next video.